applied parameters. In that case, I can increase the reflectivity, I have a graphic, because this reflectivity will depend on the angle that is doing with our point of view. And with this simple graphic I can graduate the reflection or reflectivity of my material. Just selecting the geometry, all the objects with the same material, and after that going to the library and selecting one of the materials is automatically assigned. I do the same for different parts, assign another material, metal, select another part, and maybe select a plastic, a plastic with a texture like could be a carbon fiber, and let's have a look with Ctrl M to the parameters of this material. In that case I have this texture of the carbon fiber, and this texture, let's have a look, let's first increase the reflectivity with the slider that we mentioned before, and just go to the highlight and move the texture. If I do move texture, automatically appears an icon that allows me to scale and rotate this texture. With Ctrl, selecting the geometry, I can magnetize the geometry, te the texture to the geometry and scale and get the nice result. So as simple as that is to apply materials to my geometry and get some easy good, res good result. Let's go to move the shadow again, get a nice position for the shadow. And we get already some materials assigned in my geometry. To obtain a good shadow distribution, we will calculate the ambient shadow. Before than that, we will double check the direction of the normals. With F2 I can see my model and the direction of the normals. All the model needs to be in blue color. For that, I will reverse the parts that they are yellow, just clicking F3 or reverse normals. F3 again, F3 in the yellow areas, and I have now all the model with the normals in the right direction. Once all the model is blue, I will calculate the ambient shadow. For that I go to a scene, create ambient shadow. I have different parameters for shadows, calculation, I will use medium quality, it gives me a good result, I can take few minutes depending on the size of the model, and after that if some area needs more shadow definition I can pre-calculate just this area. Once it's calculated, let's have a look to the shadows, for that what I do is unselect first and show ambient shadows only. We can see now the shadow mapping, how the shadows are darker in the areas where the light cannot access and the model is lighter where the light is affecting. Showcase allow me to generate dynamic presentations. For that I may want to present this product with different materials. What I'm gonna do is create an scene, scene and different alternatives, a material lineup. What I will do is select uh, any part of my geometry with one material and add this material to the alternative. This material is already assigned to this alternative. What I can do is maybe do a change in the material. Let's go to the material properties and change any of the parameters. We have color, we have highlight, we have reflection, reflectivity, clear coat, transparency. Let's go in transparency and change the color of this material. Do some changes and add a new alternative. Now this change has been saved in this new alternative. We have two different color alternatives to present. 
Let's go now assign a completely different material and edit it with Ctrl M and do some changes as well in this material. Material, material properties or Ctrl M. The advantage of showcase is that allows me to do some changes and dynamically see the results. So I don't need to pre-calculate anything. I just can change in that case my texture until I'm happy with it. In a very dynamic way, I can change the texture, rotating, scaling. Just trying to get a good angle for it. And when I'm happy with it, I add this material to a new alternative, having already three different alternatives. That will allow to present my model internally in my company to a customer. Last bit is set an image for each of them which will have a nice interface in order to show it and remember which material is its alternative. To finish the presentation today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to save some cameras or some camera animations. For that I'm going to the menu, view, shots, also activated with hotkey T. I'm going to create the first one and the first one instead of a motion type is going to be a still camera still no motion for that I just need to find a right point of view for my camera I can also adjust the perspective it's just one slider that adjusts to define the wide angle of perspective that I want and when I'm happy with it I reset the position this camera is already saved it means that when I select the icon of shot 1, it comes to the camera that I have saved. Let's create another. In that case, I'm going to create a motion type between two keyframes. Reset the first one, first camera, reset the end, and I have already a camera animation between keyframe 1 and keyframe 2. Let's create another one. Maybe in that case, I want to move in the same one second position, which is the end and preview it creates a trajectory automatically showcase between keyframe 1 and keyframe 2 that allow me to see the model between different angles that will allow me in a presentation to focus in the areas that I want to see and have some camera created in order to present my model I can do as many cameras as I want and as I said, it's very dynamic when I'm presenting the model internally or to a customer to have some camera saved in order to focus. Let's see them all together. First one, second camera, third camera, just playing and maybe during the discussion just run all the different cameras or camera movements at the same time. And that is everything for today. I hope with this presentation you see the simple steps to follow in showcase to get a very good results, very short time of preparation and how easy it can be to present your models to your customers or maybe internally in design reviews or discussions. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks Alba. So hopefully you enjoyed that and got some value from it too. Uh, just by way of finishing off I'd like to leave you with a comment from an existing showcase customer, I think happy customers say it best. These guys are a design and engineering firm that operate in the automotive sector, uh, specifically to Mitsubishi by the looks of things. Their man Jean Paul firmly believes that by using showcase and other Autodesk software tools, they have complete design freedom to concentrate on creating designs that their customers buy into. And so to wrap up, whilst it's tough to concisely demonstrate the power of Showcase in 20 minutes, hopefully we've shown you something that has captured your interest. More information on the full range of Showcase and Alias Studio can be found on our website. We can arrange an evaluation license for you upon request. And if you'd like to meet and discuss all of this in more depth, we'd be delighted to meet you. Uh, lastly, on behalf of my colleague Salvador, myself and Autodesk, thank you very much for your time. We hope to hear from you soon.